Good morning, everybody. Paul Rostek, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing. And this is the toddler wanting to give a little visit. Hi. Hi. So he's full of wisdom. And he helped me do this uh, channel, this amazing energy update that I'm about to bring to you. So while Odin goes and gets himself into trouble, I will uh, actually let him out before he pulls things down. You know, so intense, right? Intense energy going on. Beautiful, 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 beautiful transformations happening. And uh, what we have is a really powerful energy. Uh, a lot of people have probably been going through a lot of shit right now. Um, a real lot of intensity, intense uh, manifestations of self. Okay, so this is discovering who you truly are. This is the phoenix rising up out of the ashes. This is the the energy that we are coming into, okay, is more of the butterfly that's punching the first hole out of the cocoon, okay? So this is where I feel that everybody's at. Uh, well, not everybody. Everybody's, uh, of course, is on their all of their own path. So you may not be feeling what I'm saying yet. Uh, you might al already have gone through it. But either way, we are all in the same space of transitioning. So that's the best way I could, I, that I have meditated on it. It's like punching the hole, the first hole through the cocoon. So think of that. So where you are, it's almost like there's a sense of identity in there, isn't it? Isn't it? There's a sense of... I know who I am now. There's a sense of, I know where my next step is. There's a sense of, I know what I want and I know what I don't want, okay? Uh, there's been a lot of really super deep, intense things coming up. And it could be a lot of old things from the past, okay? It could be old tendencies from the past. It could be a lot of old feelings or a lot of old emotions that you could be shocked that these things are coming out of you or that you're expressing these things. Uh, and... It's, you know, and empaths have a way of they don't like to speak, right? They don't like to speak their feelings. They like to keep them in. They don't want to disturb the peace. So what happens is a lot of times we're being forced to speak our truth. We're being forced to speak our feelings and to deal with them. Uh, so it comes out usually bad, right? It'll come out loud. It'll come out explosive. It'll come out uh, in ugliness. And it feels like this massive meltdown of, of transformation of who we are. Super intense times. Uh, but it's, it's like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It's that, okay, I'm not out yet. We still have, you know, Mercury retrograde. We still have the very end of the Venus retrograde happening. Um, and, and with all your, a bunch of Uranus energy that wants to be free, that wants to be out. There's a uh, Libra energy with Uranus that that's all about relationships. So there's a lot of deep internal relationship stuff going on, purging, cleansing, relationships, ending relationships, beginning new relationships with the self, right? That's what it is. It's the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It's the, it's the, the, the gem, right, of, of the transformation. So we know who we are. There's a sense of knowing. There's, and this is coming too uh, the rest of the month. And I feel that into December as well, we are going to be really experiencing some incredible new beginnings, okay? So the inner self is transforming. And what happens is, is when we transform, then our outer world transforms to that, okay? So this means... Stalemate situations moving, moving, new opportunities, um, 
putting energy into something so long that doesn't serve you and then you finally give up on it like you're finally letting go you're finally your ego's finally going all right fine i will give that up um so it hasn't been pretty has it but it's beautiful it's very intense um so we're beginning to get a feel of who we are there's a there's a beginning of of uh things moving forward okay there's an excitement there's a refinedness about it uh about who we are about what we want to do what steps we're going to take what matters to us what doesn't matter uh to us um and we're still in this energy okay we're still in this energy so you don't want to make any rash decisions observe go through process just be okay um and like I said, this is different for everybody. Everybody's on their own path. I find out that I, because of doing this for a living and channeling healing and teaching spiritual stuff, that I experience it. I experience a lot of these things a little bit early than a lot of people. And uh, because I go through just like, you know, everybody else, I'm on my spiritual path and we, we, we can't get away from it. We're in human bodies and a lot of us spiritual people, uh, light workers, empaths, we kind of forget that you know <laughs> we're human and it's and we have to be in this body we are on this planet for a reason so there is a lot of feminine energy coming up and i think this explains a lot of what we've been experiencing so the masculine energy can no longer exist without the feminine oh let me rephrase that a little bit the Masculine energy will not be allowed to move forward unless it is uh, embraced and emerged and blended in with phys the female energy. The female energy has been suppressed for like forever on this planet. So we are getting to a point, and this has been happening for months now, many, many, many months. This is a big shift. And so it's the feminine coming in. This is change in the world right this is this explains a lot of what is going on with everything doesn't it everything right negative positive yes no light dark uh male female right there's these polarities but instead of being opposites there's a there's a blending there's a unity okay and that's why there's relationship stuff going on that's why there's relationships with ourselves going on with with everything in life now for the dudes that feel like you know they're gonna lose their toughness or they're gonna lose their edge um Losing your identity too, losing who you are. And I think everybody's going through this. Uh, even the females that have, everybody has the masculine and feminine in them. That you're not going to lose anything. You're only going to gain. Because think of a mother's energy. We're like, you mess with a mother's kid, right? You're going to see a pissed off mother coming at you like a friggin' ninja, right? Yet turn her back on you and be extremely loving caring, gentle, and nurturing, right? The ultimate mother's love, but the fire and the toughness of it is scary, right? But this isn't about coming out as negative. This isn't about coming out as intense. This is really about finding the strength through gentleness, the strength through truth, the, the strength through not worrying about, you know, who's right, who's wrong, who said what, ego. It's about growing up, you know, inside and being like, okay, whatever. This isn't anybody's fault. Whatever's going on anywhere. And this means with anything in your life, all right? Um, a lot of people are feeling um, anger and rage towards universal oneness to their guides, to their masters i hear a lot of people saying that they're feeling disconnected that's how it is um and like i said in past videos this whole venus retrograde is like 40 day 40 days and 40 nights you know in the desert by yourself we, right now like that butterfly punching through the the cocoon it's like 
it's like a, a person that goes up into the mountains and is like, I'm going to fast and I'm not going to eat and I'm not going to do anything until I have this spiritual awakening. And then this man or woman comes down from the mountain with a purpose, with a clarity and with an appetite, right? So we're coming into these, this phase. We're coming into the newness of it. A lot of new beginnings are going to start happening. There's a lot of freak out energy. There's a lot of anger that needs to come out. And it needs to come out. There needs to be a lot of expression. A lot of uh, a lot of spiritual people are always trying to be in the light. They're always trying to not be angry. They're always trying to transmute, release, release, right? So, but there's things that happen that we can't just release. It has to come out in anger. It has to come out in rage. It has to come out in feelings. You have to feel it, right? You have to feel it in order to release it. And also, you have to, this is about not holding back your feelings anymore. This is about speaking your truth more than ever before, but not out of anger, out of gentleness. Um, and this is what's coming up. It's, it's finding different ways to, to express yourself so that you're not bottling up things or you're not finding yourself uh, running into walls every year or so because you're, you've, you didn't speak, you know, um, Masculine, feminine, merging. Very, very important. Um, new beginnings, new people, new opportunities, freshness, okay? Time, it could hurt. There's a lot of things going on that's really hurting. It's things that's coming out. And as much as we may be trying to suppress these things, we can't. So this brings fear and anger and and uh, and all these other fun emotions that we go through. Now... Something else that's going on that I talk, I don't talk about that much, but there is, and there's a reason why I don't talk about it that much, um, but there is definitely attacks going on. So this means within the spiritual, spiritual community, this means with entities, dark side. A lot of people don't believe in this stuff, but too bad. This stuff's real. There are entities that do not want you to find your light. There are energies that want you to die. There are energies that want you to just evaporate. That they that wants to just destroy. Wants to uh, that takes joy out of pain. That gets joy out of fear. That gets joy out of uh, self destruction. Okay, so I want people to understand. This is a massive purging going on between dimensions, between millions of lifetimes, mega times, okay? Uh, and there is energies from the astral plane. There is spirits. There is all sorts of thought forms and belief systems, psychic attack. There's a lot going on too externally. So it's claiming your light. It's super important and people you know why does god let this happen well there's many reasons why this happens okay because if negative things didn't happen we would not know who we are okay and also we have to claim our light so when this stuff comes up it's a test in a way that's how i see it so it's almost like you have to fight that dragon you came here in the physical body you have to go and attack you have to go with shaky legs and wanting to shit yourself you know you have to go forward you have to claim your energy and you have to claim your light you have to con connect to the angels and masters and say no i will not bow down to darkness i will not give in to fear and this isn't out of anger uh this is out of like i said we there are these anger bursts and everything but this means walking through and just saying no you know what no and no matter how scary it is there's a lot of thoughts that are going into people's minds a lot of darkness can 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 talk to you through your own voice and your own thoughts going in your head it knows your fears it knows your weaknesses it knows your addictions it knows your habits okay and this could be just the dark side of you coming out that you have to stand up against the dark side of you and the dark side of your past and say, no, you have no power here. Scary thoughts, scary uh, um, visions and pictures in your mind, right? Dreams, showing you things in your dreams to strike up fear. So there is a lot of energy going on. Uh, anybody needs clearing, healing for my one-on-one -on -one sessions, let me know. 
Group healing. I think a lot of people should get on this. You don't want to miss this. November 16th, I'm doing the group healing. It's $25. If you're interested, sign up for three days, 16th, 17th, and 18th. I'm going to be connecting to my Masters and Angels, Source, Universal Oneness, and channeling healing to each and every person that signs up. It's all remotely. There's no visual chat. You just go about your day as usual, and you will just be receiving for over a week. For like a week to two weeks, you'll be receiving the healing and clarity that's of your highest of good. A big layer. So take the weight off. Sign up for the healing. Um, I love everybody. That's all I got for now. And uh, much more to come. I love all of you. I believe in all of you. And uh, thank you for all of your support, for sharing this, for following, for commenting, and... Uh, Anyone that you know that wants that you want to have the groups, you could sign up other people for the group healing as well. So um, I hope you guys have the best day ever. Let it be done. And so it is done.